I'm Sharon Bill, welcome to my Theory Tuition series where I'll work with you step by step through the ABRSM Theory Grades. There are lots of resources available to help you on my website. If you go to SharonBill.com you'll find some free PDF information sheets and you can download those in US letter or A4 and they accompany each step of this series. You'll find a page there with links to all of my YouTube video tutorials and you can also access information about the books that I have available. I've written an exam technique guide, how to take your ABRSM music theory exam. It's full of tips and techniques on how to best prepare for your exam and also how to make the best use of your time on exam day. So if you go to SharonBill.com you'll find it's all there. If you can give me a like, that would be really fab. And please do subscribe to my channel to keep updated. I have lots more to come. And so now we're going to continue with 2014 Grade 2, Paper A. So if you turn with me to page 3, and we're going to carry on with question 4. And so question 4 gives us a melody in the bass clef and we're asked to rewrite the melody in the treble clef keeping the pitch exactly the same so you've just got to be careful that you don't end up jumping octaves very generously they've given us the first two notes so really all the hard thinking is done the clue is to keep relating back to middle C so we can see here there's middle C in the bass clef and so we're C D E above that C D E above that and then everything else just moves in step or in relation to whatever happens here we just parallel that and then we've got a clue sort of a reference point here in middle C and here and here just to sort of keep us on track to make sure we've not jumped octaves and so we've got the E above middle C so I'm just going to do the note heads I'm not going to worry about the stems let's think about one thing at a time the stems may well have to change direction as we get higher so we've got C D E F back to the E back up a step to the F and now we're going to go down one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. we'll need a ledger line for that and that should be middle C and it is down a step so we've gone below that middle C ledger line we need a flat there same note again colour that in down a step again, so we're going to need another ledger line. So um, now we're going to go up one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and that should be the D above middle C, which it is. Down a step, which should take us to middle C, which it does. Down another step takes us below that ledger line. Now they've included a natural sign, so we shall do likewise. Up a step, that takes us to middle C again. I'm trying to keep reasonably aligned with their note heads, keep the blob sort of aligned, and that way I'm not going to lose track where I am. So now we're counting from this C, one, two, three, four. One, two is the space, three is the line, four is the space, C, D, E, F. So we're on F, that's correct. Down a step takes us to E. And so we should be in the same place as we started and we are, so that's good. Down a step takes us to D. And down one more step should take us to C, middle C to finish. So in actual fact we've not gone any higher, so the stems will all be pointing up. So we can now think about that. Oh, that's a bit short. And I'm trying to do this. Oh dear, the stems to show the direction of the notes as well as these are ascending. The stems ascend. The stems you can see are getting lower. There we go, and that's easy peasy. Job done. Let's move on to the next question. So if we turn the page page four we're now on question five and so question five is asking us to add rests wherever there's a little star move that along there we go to make each bar complete now notice it says in these two melodies so we've got two separate melodies 
uh, which may have completely different time signatures in actual fact just by chance they're both four beats per bar but don't presume they'll carry on and be the same we could end up with a different time signature here so each bar needs to add up to four crotchet beats, four quarter notes, but we've got some gaps that we need to fill with the appropriate combination of rest or rests. That's the clue there. Because just as we would when we are beaming groups of notes, when we're adding rests, we need to show each beginning of each new beat. We need to show where each new beat falls. So we have one crotchet beat here. These two quavers give us another crotchet beat. One, two, three. So we've got three crotchet beats so far. Now this triplet, if you remember, means three in the time of two. We've actually only got two quavers at the moment. There should be three quavers. Three quaver beats, so three in the time of two. So instead of having a quaver or an eighth note, we need to show that as a rest. And so here's three in the time of two. It just so happens that one of those three quavers is a rest. So we've got an eighth note rest there. This bar is complete. One and a half plus half is two, three, four. And there's no little star. And so we've got two beats here. We've got the last half of the bar here to complete. Now you could be excused for thinking that we do one beat, two beats, two separate crotchet beats. However, that won't quite get you full marks because if you remember, we can use a minim rest or a half note rest in 4-4, four, four, just so long as we're careful, it doesn't cross over the middle of the bar. So we can see each half of a bar. So if you remember the minim or the half note rest sits on the middle line. I'll just show you uh, carefully, you don't get it confused with this uh, semi breathe whole note rest which hangs from the fourth line. So that's a four beat rest, but we need a two beat rest, which is this minim. There's our half note rest. So that's that completed. So here we've got a whole bar's rest. Now regardless of the time signature, a whole bar's rest is this whole note, this semi brief rest hanging from the fourth line that we were just talking about. Just by chance it happens to have four beats in a bar, but regardless of how many beats per bar you would use that as a full bars rest. So let's see what we've got missing in this bar. We've got one crotchet bit here, so there's one beat, one quarter note. Now we know that four semi-quavers, four sixteenth notes, each a quarter of a beat, give us one beat. There's another crotchet bit or quarter note. There's another group of four semi-quavers which give us a crotchet beat. Four sixteenth notes give us a quarter note. So we've got one, two, three beats. There should be four beats in a bar, so we're one crotchet beat, one quarter note missing, and the rest for that is that. So that's a crotchet rest. So let's look at this bar here. Now we've just seen here that there are four semi-quavers to a crotchet beat to a quarter note. Here we've only got three. So already we're a semi-quaver missing in time. So we need to show that as a rest. So now we have one, two, three, four semi-quavers, four fit sixteenth notes that give us a beat. So that beat is now complete. We've got one beat there. We've got one, two beats here, one, two, three, and so now we're just one beat missing to complete that four. So we have to have two separate rests here. If you did those two the other way around, if you did the crotchet beat rest there, the semi-quaver rest there, that wouldn't be correct because we need this semi-quaver rest here to complete that group. So the way that you place them is important because we need to show where each new beat falls. So we can see beat one, beat two, beat three, beat four, all clearly divided. So there we go. Let's have a look at the next question, but I think we'll do that in the next video. So we'll leave that until uh, the next video. Please do go to SharonBill.com and make use of all of the resource that's available to help you there. Uh, please have a browse around and look at all my YouTube playlists for all the video tutorials to help you with your revision and with your work. If you can give me a like, that would be really super. Please do subscribe to my channel to keep updated. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.